This is the Mr. Potato Head assignment instruction video. Okay, so first thing we have to open up Photoshop. So that's hopefully you've pinned it to your taskbar or you can search for it. And it looks like this, a PS in this blue box. So you click on it, it opens it up. Then we're gonna go to File and New. And then a new document window opens up. Okay, so first thing we have to do is we have to name it. So we're gonna go over here to Preset Details and I'm gonna name this Mr. Potato Head um, Sean. Okay, and then next we have to pick our dimensions. So we're gonna stick with inches. So if it's on centimeters, pixels, something else, switch it to inches. And then basically all we have to do is decide whether we are gonna be landscape, so sideways, or portrait this way. If they were different numbers, so let's say it was nine and three, obviously switch it to 11 and 8.5. We are gonna have our resolution as 150. We don't need it uh, that big. And you can hit enter at that point and your project will open or you could hit create. And if you notice that this white box is actually our background. So this is where our layers are gonna be. And then every other thing that you bring in, all the other pictures or text or whatever is gonna stack on top of that um, in your layers panel here. Next thing we need to do is go get some pictures. So we need to head over to Google um, and I'm gonna search for a basketball to start. And when it comes up, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna go to tools and I'm gonna switch it to large. If you notice here, there's lots of basketballs that have a white background around it or a solid color. In your project, you're allowed to have a couple of those, okay? One or two objects that you save that have a white background. Because what that means is somebody else has already basically Photoshopped that out. So they've taken the picture of the basketball and they've cut it out and they put it on a white background to make it easier for the rest of us to go and get a basketball and cut it out, okay? So I'm going through here, I don't see many, but so I'm gonna type instead, I'm gonna go basketball on court. So now I get some, some better examples. So I'm gonna pick this one here, okay? So it's on the court. So you click on the thumbnail, don't save the actual thumbnail, click on it, and then over here, you're gonna go right click, save image as, and then you're gonna name it. Uh, basketball on court, okay? So make sure you save it in your Mr. Potato Head folder and save. So this is one that again, there's gonna be a lot of white background ones, but I'm gonna try and find one that doesn't. And uh, right here, perfect. So we got one that's hanging up on this wall, so I have to cut it out of that. So I'm gonna right click, save image as, and whoops, Raptors jersey wall, and save, okay. So that's how you save the images. Now let's see how we bring them into Photoshop. I'm gonna show you two different ways to import your pictures. So we can go to File and Open, just like you're opening them as their own project. And I'm gonna open up all of these ones together that we had in Baseball Glove and Open. Okay, so now if you see up top here, they open up each of them individually in a tab. So this was our project, and then this was each of the pictures that we saved. So all we have to do is on this one, I'm gonna left click on the image and I'm still holding the left click down and I'm gonna drag over to our project tab, down and then let go. Okay, so there's the basketball. And if you see, it popped in here as layer one above our background. Then I'm gonna go over to the jersey. I'm gonna click, left click, drag, and then let go. One over here, if something like this comes up, just click okay. And then our baseball glove, I'm gonna left click hold it down, drag to the tab, drag it back, and then let go. But if you notice here, layer one, two, and three, probably a good idea, double click, right? Name this as basketball, as jersey, and as glove. Now I'm gonna import the other images that I have a different way. So we can also do it this way. We can go file, place embedded. And I have, on this one, I have my, the stadium that I'm gonna put as the background. And I, if you notice here, I can't click another one. So I gotta do one at a time here, but when you click place, it doesn't open it up in its own tab, which these ones we can now get rid of. It places it right in as big as it can go right into your project. So if you like the size of it, you can just click check and leave it there. I'm gonna go file, place embedded, 
and I'm gonna get my uh, mouth guard. That will be my mouth again. It shows up in there. I just hit check. And if you notice these ones, they're already named. So you gotta do one at a time, but they're already named. And they are slightly different. They are smart objects, which for us doesn't really change anything we're doing right now, but uh, in the future that will come in handy to know. So now that all of your images are in, now we're gonna have to cut them out and then resize them to fit our image. I'm gonna click the eyeball here on the side to hide everything except for, I'm gonna start with the jersey, okay? And right now I'm selected on the puck layer, but it's not visible. So if I'm gonna work on the jersey layer, I need to actually click on the jersey layer, okay? Then I can go over here to my move tool and I can move it where I want it. So I wanna see all the way around the whole image. And then I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit, okay? So I can see the jersey up close. Okay, so my first method is gonna be right here. So you might have this, it's gonna be the one, two, three, fourth one down, and it might be on the magic wand tool. If not, it's on a different tool. And anyone that has this little triangle in the corner of these tools, if you right click, there's gonna be a separate menu that you can switch. So we're actually gonna use the quick selection tool as our first one. So mine showed up here as a minus. So you can have the plus or the minus up here is what we're gonna work with. Let's just go with the plus. And all you do is on the area that you wanna select, you just click, left click, hold down, and kind of drag out where you want. Now, if you see, it's called quick selection because Photoshop is trying to guess what you want to select. So you see this extra area that's selected? We don't want that. So we're gonna to go to the minus and we're gonna go into the area that we don't want to see if we can get a better selection. And you can go back and forth a whole bunch here to get um, a really good selection. But for what we're doing right now, we don't need it to be perfect. So I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple times, get a little bit of that back. Okay, and so once you have the selection that you think you want, now we're gonna go up here to select and mask. And then if we go over here to the view mode, I'm just gonna show you quick. So onion skin shows you kind of a see-through around the outside of what you haven't selected. Marching ants is our one that we were viewing right when we were working. Overlay is red on the outside, obviously black, white, and, and then black and white. Now this one's good so you can see that actually even on the inside we missed some stuff while selecting, so some of the letters were missed. Okay, it's much more visible there. So I'm gonna go back to this one, and I like to have my opacity, like you can change this to have it basically nothing or all the way red. I like to have somewhere like two thirds of the way down the line, so my red is pretty sharp, but I can still see the, the background. And then all I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to um, crank this up a little bit, smooth out those edges, you can see there's a little bit out there. I'm gonna feather a little bit too, not very much, just a tad. And I'm actually gonna shift the edge back in a bit so that I have a little bit of red like fringe on the outside on some parts. And so that's just gonna squeeze it in a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna click okay. So now that selection is ready to go and I come over here and I'm actually gonna put the mask on. So add layer mask, boom. Okay, so that just shows you that if I get rid of the background, all this checkerboard stuff means that everything else here is gone. And this is all that I have left is the jersey. So if I click on this move tool, I just have the jersey. Okay, so now that we have our selection, we're gonna have to clean a few things up. So remember in the raptors, we are missing some pieces and even maybe along the sleeve here, you might wanna bring some things back. Okay, so what we'd be doing is we're working on the mask over here. So make sure you're not selected on the actual thumbnail. Make sure you're always selected on the mask when you're trying to do this, okay? And we use the brush tool over here. You can change the size of the brush and the hardness. So all the way left would be blurry, all the way right would be a solid circle. So I'm gonna go somewhere around there. And then here is what we're dealing with. So black, if you look over on the mask, black is the part that's covered up and white is the part that's revealed. So if these were anything different, so if you had gray in here, then click on it and switch it to black and white. One black, one white. So right now I'm looking here and I need to bring some of that back, right? I need this to be revealed. So I'm gonna to switch to white on the brush and I can just paint over it 
and that will bring it back. Okay, so I might want to paint a little bit along this edge here to bring some of that back in the sleeve. And there you go. Okay, so the other way, if you had a section like this that wasn't selected properly, then you'd go to black and I'm gonna even zoom in a little bit more and you just touch up along the edge and make sure all the extra stuff is gone. So that would be working on the mask with black and white. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use the magnetic lasso tool. Okay, so we're gonna use the football and we're gonna go over here. This is in our second, uh, sorry, the third one here. And we, we're gonna right click and make sure you're on magnetic lasso. Okay, so you're on that one. And all you do is you're gonna click somewhere along the edge and then you're gonna just follow along the edge. You don't have to click. I like to click at like certain points every once in a while and it's gonna try and find contrasty edges that they think you want to select. And it's not gonna be perfect if you do it this way. It's just gonna be a quick boom and it's pretty close. We're gonna do the same thing, select and mask. And I'm gonna smooth it out a bit. I'm gonna feather to one or so. And again, I'm gonna shift the edge just back a little bit. Okay, so there we go. And then we can click okay. And then we head down here and we mask it. Now, this one for sure, remember we go on the mask and we can go to the brush and with white, there's gonna be some stuff that we have to bring back to reveal along this edge. Okay, so we have a little bit extra and I'm gonna go back to black. I might zoom in again even more and I'm just gonna head along this edge and clean that up. Now, down here, uh, I'm just going to make my own new edge for the football. So I'm just gonna get rid of that glass and just make sure I kind of smooth out that, the curve so that it looks kind of good. Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna use polygonal lasso and that's with when there's like sharp edges, okay, straight lines. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go back over here, right click, that one and then go to polygonal lasso. For this, all you're doing is find a corner, click on the corner, and then you're gonna make straight lines wherever you need to, to go along the edge. Boom and boom. Same thing, select and mask, and then we mask it and there you go. All right, next up is one of those images that we had that had the white background, okay? All we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the one where it was the quick selection and we're gonna go to the magic wand tool. Magic wand tool is meant for if there's a solid color that you wanna select. So in this case, solid white. If you click on it, everything that's attached to where you click that's the same color is gonna be selected. And then when we go to select and mask though, it's now the opposite. We didn't select the object this time, like the rest we select the other part. So we have to first go here and go to invert. Then we go over here to mask, we click the mask, and very quick, very easy selection when there is a white background. Now that we have all of our objects cut out, we're gonna have to learn how to move them, resize them, and place them where they need to be to make our Mr. Potato Head. So if we head over to our layers panel, we're gonna notice that if I reveal, let's say the background, and then I reveal the mouth guard, we can't see it because whatever is the highest up here, that's the most to the front. And whatever is at the bottom here, that's most to the back. So if I reveal the basketball, we'll be able to see it because it's in front of the background or above the background, which we're gonna use as our background. So let's take this and let's drop this to the bottom. And the next is gonna be our body, which is the jersey, then the basketball is gonna be our head, so that should be next. Um, I'm gonna have the box as just sitting in front of him. And then the rest of these, I don't think it really matters because the nose is not gonna overlap with the mouth or the ears or the eyes. If we go over here to this background one, we can go over to edit and free transform or control T. And you're gonna notice the resizing box will come up. The most important thing is we don't want to, and if you go from the middle here, we don't want to squish the picture and we don't want to squish it this way. You can also squish it from the corners. We don't want to do this, okay? 
So pretend you just did it this way. You moved it, you resized it, just to make sure you click this button right here. Because look, right now it's 52.84% by 57.68. So I've squished it a little bit. And then if I click this, it'll match them. It'll make sure that they're the same. But now I shrunk a little bit. And if that's clicked, then when I drag from the corners, it'll keep the proper aspect ratio, okay? So you can be safe by dragging it out. The other way you can do it is by holding shift. So if I wasn't clicked on that and I hold shift and drag from the corners, then it's also going to keep my aspect ratio. And then when I'm done, I just click this check mark, boom, and it's placed it in there. So there's my background. Next, I have my jersey here. So this is gonna be my body. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the move tool here and I'm gonna move it to where I want it. And I kinda of want this one to little be, be a little bit bigger. So that was the important thing about making sure we were saving large images is so now even if we have to go and transform this and make it a little bit bigger, it's not gonna get super pixelated. It's gonna be still good quality and I can place this in where I want it. And then you click check and you are good to go. I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. I'm gonna click on this first and then I'm gonna go just type in 50% and it'll change both of them to 50% and I'm gonna place that in. I actually maybe want it a little bit bigger. And there we go, it's gonna be more of a bobblehead and check. This one, I'm just gonna kind of place um, at the bottom, but I want it to be uh, slightly on an angle. But if I go over to the corner, I can now, this is where you rotate, okay? So I can rotate there. I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit and place it off to the side, like you would be carrying it, but I'm not gonna have any arms right now. Next one, the football. I don't like this direction. I want it facing the other way. So I can do it right here. I can click on the edge of this and I can just drag it out to the other side. And then I'd have to re-click on this and it'll make it 37% for both. The other way you can do that is you can go edit and you can go transform and flip horizontal or flip it vertical if you want it pointing the other way. I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna step back to make it back where I was. So now that we have the mouth, oh, my wife is hammering something upstairs. Now that we have the mouth to be the right, right, bleh. Now that we have the mouth to be the right, right, bleh. Now that we have the mouth to be the right size, we are going to actually warp it, okay? So if we go over to edit and transform, you can have some of these other options here. We're gonna try and warp it, but Warp transitions are not allowed with smart objects. So how do we take this from being a smart object to not? We can go over here to go to layer and rasterize smart object. So that turns it back into a regular JPEG image, not a smart object. And now we can go over to edit and we can go to transform and warp. So with this, we can just, I'm just gonna make it, uh, you can click on any of these points move it around, I'm gonna make it a little more of a smile, I guess, um, bring that down a bit, and there you go, and then same thing, check, and now we have a smile. You can still see that there's some like remnants here, so anytime you see that, just go in and uh, paint paint over it and get rid of those extra little, little bits. I'm gonna place in one eye, okay? So now, well, we need, we need two, right? So I'm gonna go here and go layer and duplicate layer. And that makes a copy. Okay, now I have two. And we are gonna transform again and just flip it horizontal. So this one will be the exact opposite over here. Okay, so there we go. There's our Mr. Potato Head. Um, and then the last thing we have to do is just make a title. So we're gonna make sure first that we're on our top layer. Then we're gonna go to the type tool. Now, if you right click, there's horizontal type, vertical type, um, and then there's other ones. Let's just stick to one of these two. You can decide which one you want. I'm gonna stick with horizontal. And then we just click and make a box. I'm gonna make mine pretty big. Actually, no, I'm gonna make it small so I can show you what might happen. So that comes up and then I'm just gonna write the same that I had before. So Kawhi am I so ugly? And if you notice, as I was typing, since I made the box small, it just ended. But all I have to do is make it bigger, and then you can see 
the rest of it. Okay, so now that I have that, if I wanna change the color, I have to highlight it, and it's just like anything else, like in Word or anything, and you just pick the color that you want. I'm gonna use the color picker to pick something from here. Um, or maybe I'll pick the pink there, and I'll click OK. You can change the size right here, and you can change your font. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And when you're done, you can just click check. Now, that's not the only thing that you can do with text and titles in Photoshop. There's two other things that I wanna show you. First, let's look at our character spacing. So if we go over here to character, or it might be up here in window, and then character, this is your spacing. So we can change our size of our font and everything in here as well. But you can also go in here and um, you can type in your own number or look, you just click 100 and it spaces the letters out more. Or if you go negative, it crunches them together. Okay, so you can worry about your spacing there. You can just go into this and if this is 200, now it stretches it out wider. And if we did it 50, it squishes it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back to 100 and just leave it at that. Sometimes I like to go and like duplicate my layer. And so now I have two. And for one of them, I'm actually gonna delete everything but Kawhi. And then on the other one, I'm gonna keep everything but Kawhi. And now I can mess with them completely separately in their own things. So the Kawhi I can make um, bigger. And I'm gonna, just to mess with something here, I'm gonna space it out a little bit and then just move it back over. The last thing I'm gonna show you is layer styles. So if you go down here to the bottom to this FX and you click on it and you go to blending options, this layer style window is gonna pop open and you got a whole bunch of options over here. Now, if you just click on the box that's next to it, so let's say stroke, there's gonna be automatically something that happens that's related to whatever uh, kind of effect this is applied to it. But when you click on the word stroke, then you get to actually manipulate what that stroke is. So instead of a black outline, I'm gonna make it more of a purple outline, and I'm gonna make it fat around Kawhi. And that's good enough there. I'm gonna maybe bevel it as well. So I can come in here and change the depth of the bevel, um, the size, mess with it a little bit, soften it up. And you can change a whole bunch of different things in here. Just, just play around with the layer styles and see what you, what you like. Okay, so that's it for that one. I'm not gonna mess with M So Ugly. Uh, I'll just drop it down a bit so we can see it. Okay, so just play around with those layer styles, get an interesting title, and uh, you are done. What